To the haunting strains of a piper's lament, they gathered to bury their dead. 49-year-old Martin McGill was Scottish, but had moved to Ireland to care for his elderly mother. They lined the street outside St Michael's Church, a parish united in prayer for those laying loved ones to rest. The funeral of Jessica Gallagher had taken place earlier. The 24-year-old had a promising career in design ahead of her. Everyone who knew Jessica knew that radiant smile. That radiant smile uh, that would light up a room with that infectious warmth that flowed from her. Two teenagers and a five-year-old girl were among ten people killed in a suspected gas explosion at this petrol station. It's had a devastating impact on this small, isolated community. It's like watching a film, and the film has gone very bad and very sad, and you just want to press a button on your remote control to change the channel or to switch off that film. But unfortunately, for those who have lost loved ones, they cannot switch off that film. All ten funerals will have taken place before they even begin to comprehend how something so awful could have happened. Here in this village by the deep lake, signified by its Irish name, Krishla, there is a deep sense of grief, but it's matched by the sense of community as people come together to stand with those who've lost so much. They've been comforted by messages of condolence from Pope Francis and King Charles. But life in this remote corner of Ireland will never be the same again. David Blevins, Sky News, at Creaselaw in County Donegal.